Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm checking out a wallet from a company that I've seen requested in my comment section many times, and that's Bellroy, and I have the hide and seek. Let's check it out. Right, so I have the hide and seek here still in its packaging. So let's open up the package and wow, check that out. All right, so nothing else inside there and let's give you guys a nice close up of the Bellroy hide and seek. All right, let's check out the card here and it looks like just has some details on how to use everything. And checking this out for the first time, I can see why this company was so highly suggested. And when I first got my hands on it, this leather feels really nice. And so far, some of my favorite stitching that I've seen on a wallet, I don't know if this is coming through on camera very well, but this is really high quality stuff. And we have that same quality stitching on the inside here. That looks really nice. But while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the hide and seek comes in nine different color combinations. The one that I have here is Java. And I really like this combination because we have the dark brown on the outside and this dark tan color on the inside. And that stitching that I was talking about matches that inside dark tan, check that out. All right, so this can hold between five and 12 plus cards, but I think they really need between one and 12 plus cards. Because it's not really required to have a minimum of five cards in here, I can put a single card in here. It does have RFID protective lining. So if you're worried about anyone skimming your cards, they should be perfectly safe in this wallet. It's made of premium environmentally certified leather. Now talking about the leathers, it says right here, the leathers we use are premium hides tanned under gold rated leather working groups, environmental protocols, then dyed through so they age gracefully. The woven fabrics we use are sustainably produced and chosen for their durability and lightweight performance. So basically in a nutshell, they use really high quality materials. And with all that said, it's still backed by a three year warranty. And it does come in two different Sizes. There's a high model for bills taller than 74 millimeters and a low model for bills that are shorter than 74 millimeters. And then there's other features that explain why they call this the hide and seek, but I'm gonna talk about that a little later on in the video. All right, so that's enough of the quick features. Let's talk dimensions. So closed up, it has a length of 4.53 inches and a width of 3.74 inches. And they don't really say how much this weighs, so let's wait. All right, let's plop this bad boy on my scale and no cards in it. Comes out to be all right, 1.7 ounces in that in grams, 46 grams. So for a bifold made of leather, that's pretty lightweight. All right, so let's talk about this wallet for a second. Right on the front here, we have the Bellroy logo, and it's that same little owl that's on the packaging right there. And the only other logo stamps are right there when you open up the wallet. And a lot of you guys watch this channel for my wallet reviews, and if you do, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of traditional bifolds. So a traditional bifold wallet has to be pretty special for me to get excited about it. And I really think that this is one of them because they call this the hide and seek because it has hidden pockets. So when we open up the billfold here, you can see this little slit right there. There's our hidden pocket. Now they say you can use this for a coin pocket, maybe put some extra credit cards in there, some business cards, and I'll test that out shortly. But that's not the only hidden pocket. So we see this little leather flap here. If we lift up that leather flap, there's another little section here to store your bills. Now this little hidden storage area back here, I was pretty excited about because you can stick your larger bills back here and have them completely tucked away and hidden if you're out in public because you never know what Snoopy thief is checking out your bills when you're trying to pay for something. And it's not like this is super obvious either. This is pretty well hidden. This little leather flap looks like it's supposed to be there and not really hiding anything. And that brings me to the last hidden pocket. That's right, there's one more. So let's lift it back up, bring that little section that little wall forward and then that exposes our last hidden pocket right there so when they call this the hide and seek they weren't kidding because we have three hidden pockets and one hidden pocket within a hidden pocket so even though you could store coins in this first hidden pocket this pocket right here on the top 
that's the pocket meant for your coins. And then we have four other credit card slots right there. So let's start stuffing some cards in here. There we go. So I stuffed four flat demo cards in those four card slots. And obviously you're going to put your most used credit cards in these first two slots right here. So getting these cards out, obviously it's going to be super easy, uh, especially that one right there in the front. I really like these two card slots for your two most used credit cards. Now, usually I see a lot of problems with these stacked credit card slots in these bifolds because I always see them too close together and trying to get the one out of the middle in this top card is almost impossible without removing the bottom card. But the slots here in the hide and seek are spaced apart enough where it's really easy to get the cards in and out of that middle section and the section right here on the top. Now these slots might be a little tight because this is a brand new wallet, but as you can see, I'm taking them in and out pretty easy. And even though this is a coin slot, you could still stick a credit card in there. Let me put one in there. It's just gonna fall down real deep as you can see. And I said earlier that this was the coin slot and I think I might be wrong because this little illustration right there shows three credit cards in there. So they're showing seven credit cards in this configuration. So I'm just gonna mimic this for right now. So I'm gonna use three raise number credit cards for that back slot and stick them in there. So yeah, I mean, yeah, super easy. But I still say that that should be a coin pocket because it's just so deep. I mean, look how far I can stick my finger in there. All right, so now what about bills? So I have eight bills here, let me, straighten them out and let's stick them in the first designated spot for bills and there we go now right now i have four credit cards in there and eight bills and this wallet starts out extremely thin and even with all that in there check it out it's still pretty thin so let me take these out and then take out i don't know say my largest bill here that 20. this is what i wanted to test out so if i lift up that flap and put this 20 in that little hidden compartment there and then fold that leather piece over. See what I'm saying? Now, 20 is the largest bill that I have right now, but if you guys have large denominations of cash, say hundreds or fifties, that's a nice little spot to hide your large bills. Now, let me just put these bills back in here. I wanna see taking these bills in and out if that flap is gonna get in the way. So when it's open, this little piece right here kind of sticks up a little bit. So for the most part, it looks like that flap doesn't really get in the way, but it does catch on my fingers. See what I'm saying? Right there if I'm grabbing all of my bills out. So just keep that in mind if you're reaching in there and taking all your bills out, you might lift this little flap up from time to time. Not that it's gonna disturb the hidden pocket back there, but just doing that a couple times, it does catch. So they do say it can hold 12 plus cards in this wallet. So let's see how many cards we can stuff in here. All right, so I just stuffed those cards in here. So basically what I did, I put two cards in every slot and then this large deep pocket back here, I have four. And I have those eight bills in here. So <laughs> yeah, you guys know what's going on. And just like any other bifold, you have 12 cards in there. It's gonna start getting pretty darn thick. But honestly, I think I can get more in here. So let me try to stuff some more cards in these slots. A few moments later. All right, I'm back. So I have 17 cards in here. Basically, I just added a card to every slot. So five in the deep pocket and then three in each of the four card slots. And yeah, guys, you probably guessed it. This many cards, it's not even closing. And keep in mind, I also have eight bills in there too. So just for the heck of it, let me take out those eight bills and see if I can close it at that point. And <laughs> no. So in my opinion, 12 would be the maximum amount of cards that you can carry in this wallet comfortably. All right, so what about this first hidden pocket right here? Does it fit a credit card? And yes. It does. So you guys can see right there, I do have a credit card in that little hidden slot, that first pocket right there. Now that pocket, realistically, I wouldn't put any more than one credit card in there. It's pretty thin, but what else can fit in there? I have this business card here and will it fit? No, my business card is too long to fit in that pocket. But if you have things like a spare key that you need to carry around, that little hidden pocket right there is perfect for that. All right, so what about change? So I'm gonna try that first pocket that we were talking about earlier. Let me try that for change. And I mean, yeah, I really like this pocket here for change just because it's so deep. And now let's try that first hidden pocket for change. So let's just stick them all in there at once. 
And yeah, that's not a bad pocket either for change. So if you guys are change carriers, this hide and seek has plenty of options for you. All right, let's talk about the hidden compartment within the hidden compartment way back here. So you can stuff a credit card back here, as you guys can see, but it's not gonna be a card that you're gonna use all the time. Because honestly, getting back here is kind of a pain in the butt. So this is gonna be used for something that you're really trying to hide away. And going back to the business cards, this deep pocket right here actually fits my business card pretty nicely, check that out. So this deep pocket is really great for multiple credit cards, change, and even business cards. All right guys, let's talk about what I like about the Bellroy Hide and Seek. First off, I love the quality of this wallet. The leather feels very nice. I love the high quality stitching around this whole wallet. I like that it has five card slots in the front and this really deep multi-carry pocket right here to put in almost anything you want. And I really like these three hidden areas of the wallet. And even though this back pocket here isn't too functional for an everyday basis, I really think that this front hidden pocket and this hidden bill pocket is very functional. I can see myself hiding larger bills back here all the time. All right, now let's talk about what I don't like about the hide and seek. Well, first off, because it's a bifold, if you have more than 12 cards in here, it just gets too thick. And the next thing when you're trying to get your bills out of here, this little flap sometimes gets in the way and gets stuck on your finger. Now that isn't a huge negative, but it's still a negative. And honestly, guys, that's pretty much it for the negatives. I can't find much else wrong with this wallet. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Bellroy hide and seek? I'll tell you what, I'm pleasantly surprised with this wallet. I'm not a big bifold guy, but if I was gonna carry a bifold again, it's gonna be this one. It's extremely functional even without all those hidden pockets. That's just a bonus. Add in the ability to carry coins, business cards, even keys. I'm sold. Now, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, I will leave links below in my description box. No, they are not affiliate links. No, I am not sponsored by Bellroy. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.